right, so we are at Emerald City Comic Con at the Seattle Convention Center Summit Building. Um, I just kind of wanted to point this out. They did some really, really cool stuff this year. Uh, first of all, this is the second year that this building is being used for Emerald City Comic Con. It's a nicer building, a lot bigger. As you can tell, there's a lot of stories. They're utilizing all of the space in there. Um, last year, they actually had everything in this one building. So that goes for like celebrity autographs, um, all that, you know, the vendors, the writers, uh, Ellie, the uh, artists, all that stuff, and the main show floor. Um, this year, they actually did something a little bit differently. They separated the celebrity uh, autographs and the photo ops and put them in a separate building, which is where the old convention center used to be, which is down this way here, which is right past the Paramount. We have to go up this way a couple blocks. And uh, if you go straight down that way there, uh, you're going to turn right at the end and that's going to be a whole separate building where they're going to have the autographs and the um, uh, photo ops and all that fun stuff and some more vendors. So we're going to walk over there right now. We're going to check it out um, and we are going to see what we can see over there. Uh, I just kind of want to show you guys the distance of you know how far you have to walk. It's not very far. It's actually not too bad. Today is actually a beautiful day in Seattle. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the rain. Last couple days it's been raining. We've been here since Thursday. Today is Saturday and it's actually beautiful out. Uh, it's about 60 something degrees. And yeah, so let's walk up here so I can just kind of show you guys where we're going and um, how things changed a little bit this year. And then when we come back, we'll take a walk around the con convention center uh, I already shot some footage for that, so y'all will get to see that on the YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, this is Seattle, everyone. For people who have never been here, it's actually a really, really nice city. Um, there's still a lot of construction, a lot of stuff going on. But uh, it's uh, still a great place to visit, a great place to come, especially around Comic-Con. There's a lot to do at the con itself, but even the city, there's a lot to do in the city. You go check out the Space Needle. You can go check out uh, Pike's Place Market. There's a lot in the area to do. Uh, Mopop, the Museum of Pop Culture is around also. And as you can see, um, you know, the city is, is overrun by, by uh, Everyone's celebrating their favorite nerdums around Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, it's probably my favorite Comic Con throughout the Pacific Northwest. They're selling Girl Scout cookies Ooh. right there. Um, and I think just all of us as a family, we've kind of agreed that this is our favorite Comic Con, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we have Rose City Comic Con as well, which is nice. Rose City's fun uh, in Portland. It's not as big, obviously. A uh, different uh, company that does it as well. Uh, this is Emerald City Comic Con is put on by Reed Pop, which is uh, the same company that does New York City Comic Con. And uh, they always put on a good show. This is actually the first uh, show of their season. So they start in Seattle and they actually end in New York, which is pretty cool. So this is kind of the kickoff of the Comic Con season, which is uh, really cool. So it's just sometimes I like to come out and we just like to people watch too. People watching is really, really fun. Uh, you get to see all the cool cosplays. Uh, people just really, really, really love, love what they love. And it's uh, really amazing to see so many people and it's a place where everyone belongs and everyone uh, you know, comes as they are, which is really, really cool. So this is the building that the autographs and the uh, celebrity photo ops are in. So we're going to come in and uh, take a look at everything. Thank you. Going. All right, we're passed through security. Uh, so this is 
really not a lot going on uh, until you get to the top floor. Uh, so we're going to go on up through the escalators here and uh, check it out. There's also some uh, panel rooms and stuff up here. That we'll check out and uh, sorry, I'm still figuring out how to use this camera 100%. Uh, I'll just give you, there's an Ellie right there. Just pretty cool. We see a lot of Ellie's. See a lot of Last of Us this year, so specifically Ellie. Um, that wasn't an Abby. No, we haven't seen much Abby's. Actually, we at least we've only seen one Abby in our Comic Con adventure over the last couple of years, for obvious reasons. Uh, but I like Abby. Sadly. That's going to be a controversial Abby. take, but uh, after you learn a lot, a lot about her backstory and why she did what she does. Uh, very sympathetic character, but we're not going to get into that debate right now because different people have different opinions. Me personally, yeah. I didn't hate Abby. No yeah. matter what her reasons might have been. Yeah, well, that's a discussion for another show. <laughs> Which we've had that discussion numerous times, I believe, on the podcast. And I would gladly discuss it again. Oh, I know you will. We all will. We all will. Okay, guys, so we are heading up to where they're doing the um, more vendors, more autographing and stuff. Um, now keep in mind, they, do, they don't often allow, uh, obviously, videotaping and stuff like that in the actual areas where the celebrities are doing their signings and stuff like that. So we'll have to shut off the camera when we go in there. Uh, but I kind of wanted to give you guys a view of what it's like kind of up here it's a little bit smaller here there's some vendors not a whole lot a marketplace where you get some food get some snacks uh yeah there's some really really cool stuff and there's some hidden gems here as well uh that you're gonna find so i highly recommend if you do go to emerald city comic con next year i don't know if it'll be separated like this but make sure to come check out this building don't miss out on just some interesting stuff you guys might find there's some mystery boxes over here um, not sure if you guys are a huge fan of games like kingdom hearts and stuff i am uh, if you look right behind here you're gonna find some um keyblades if you guys are fans of keyblades and some other kinds of swords and stuff like that so uh, these are really really cool i need to get a keyblade myself fortunately i don't have a keyblade we need to get keyblades what keyblade would you pick out if you could pick out any keyblade? Either the flame one or the one from Hercules. Hercules. Yeah, the Hercules one is really cool. Uh, I actually like the Frozen one. The Frozen one's cool. Nightmare Before Christmas, of course, Big Hero 6. I like the dual, the, just the Insignia one. That one's cool right there. Thank you. The, the double one's really cool. The Winnie the Pooh one, of course. Uh, Monster Zinc. Got all kinds of cool stuff. That one would be amazing. Alright, so we're just going to walk through here real quick and just until we get to the celebrity section. Uh, once we get over there, like I said, we're going to have to uh, gonna shut off the camera, but uh, we'll show you what kind of crowds we're dealing with to get over there. Um, so let's go on and move over here a little bit. All right, you oh got, God, of they, course, artwork. You got some really, really cool stuff. Uh, again, this is just kind of a small sample of what um, Emerald City Comic Con has to offer. This is just kind of a small part of the universe where everything kind of takes place and stuff. So really, really cool. Um, so yeah, things are going great. Um, so there's that stuff. So yeah. Uh, so here's some uh, really really cool mystery boxes more mystery boxes a lot of mystery boxes over here along this wall um, there's going to be just tons of it you can find any fandom anything you want um, you'll find it here uh, they have pokemon mystery boxes pride collection would you ask them uh, if they made any dr fate pops from the justice League game oh what do you say uh, 
Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, so you can find a mystery box for anything you want. There's a Supernatural, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. Super Mario Brothers, Wednesday, Friday the 13th, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Terrifier. I know Terrifier is kind of the new kid on the block, so to speak, but uh, it's been making waves, so I'm sure that a lot of you guys will like that one. Venom, Hellfire Club, uh, Animaniacs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Beetlejuice, I think I might have said that already, Labyrinth labyrinth one some really really cool stuff so we're going to uh, head over here to the celebrity autographing section which is be right over here speaking of abby uh laura bailey has a booth over here there's a bunch of them so uh anyways we're going to shut this off for now we're going to go check it out but we will talk to y'all later bye bye